On a brain that has been cut along the mid-sagittal section, we find some further structures. Here we have the corpus callosum, corpus callosum, which forms the roof of the lateral ventricle. Here we have the fornix that forms the floor of the lateral ventricle. I can put my probe into the lateral ventricle right here. Corpus callosum, fornix, lateral ventricle. Now on this particular brain, you can see a small amount of septum pellucidum right there. Septum pellucidum dividing the two lateral ventricles. Um, on this brain, let me point out those same structures. Here is the corpus callosum, fornix, lateral ventricle. On this brain, corpus callosum, fornix, and lateral ventricle. Little variation in appearance, but effectively the same structures. Um, next we have the thalamus. The thalamus is seen pretty well on this brain. It is directly inferior to the fornix. Here is the thalamus, this round structure right here. There's the thalamus. Here is the thalamus on this brain. Nice round structure. Um, the intermediate mass is in this region right here. I can slip my uh, a pointer around it like that, but I won't ask that on the uh, practical because it's too difficult to see on the sheep brain. It is in this region right around the intermediate mass that we find the third ventricle. So the third ventricle would be right there. Um, next we need to find the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus is seen pretty well on this sheep brain. It is inferior to the thalamus. Here's the margin of the thalamus. It is this region right here. This is the thalamus. It includes the mammillary body. There's a cut through the mammillary body. And it goes anterior to, but not including, the optic chiasma. Here's the optic chiasma. So the hypothalamus is outlined right here. Hypothalamus, very important region of the brain. The um, <coughs> corpora quadrigemina cut sagittally is seen here. Here is the inferior colliculus. Here is the superior colliculus, and of course there are two more on the other side of the brain. All four of them make the corporal quadrigemina, but cut sagittally, you can see the superior colliculus and the inferior colliculus. And here is the pineal body or pineal gland. Um, one more time, here is the mammillary body cut, in, cut sagittally, and here is the optic chiasma cut sagittally. Next, we find the pons. Here's the region of the pons. You can recall that this is the pons. Now we can see that little bump right there. This region is the medulla, and then we're down into the spinal cord. Here is the cerebellum cut sagittally, and you can see an obvious white tree with some dark colored leaves on it. That tree is named Tree of Life, or Arbor Vita. This is the Arbor Vita right here, Tree of Life. Between the cerebellum and the medulla and pons is a cavity, and that is the fourth ventricle. The gray matter <coughs> is this region here that appears darker, brownish, and the white matter is this region that appears lighter. The white matter contains all the myelinated fibers or tracts here. And I think that completes our uh, sheep brain.